Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. And if this is your first time, then we'll let's try that again. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if this is your first time, then welcome to my channel. And thank you so much for stopping by. Today's video is going to be a review and demo on these beautiful, beautiful brushes that I got from shopmissay.com. It is their latest set of brushes. It is the 10-piece faux mink brushes. And um I'm going to review the packaging and then I'm going to do a little eye makeup demo and we're going to see how they perform together. So yeah, let's check it out. First things first, you guys, this is what it comes in. I don't know if you can see that, but it says AOA Studio right there. I think it's really, really cute. Sorry, that's my phone. Thank you for that. <laughs> I think it's really, really pretty. Um, it comes in this faux leather, like I guess you can call it a, a pebble design um wrap and it's very sleek as you can tell it's kind of small it fits easily in your purse i like that i didn't expect it to be this small but i do like that it is this small um it comes with a tie in the back you untie it and unwrap it and then you open it like this and those are the 10 brushes sorry i'm trying to see y'all <laughs> these are the 10 brushes um Right off the bat, I have to tell you, there is a chemical smell. I'm not sure what it is, but um, I think it's probably like the chemicals that they use when they try to like keep things from maybe molding or, uh, you know, from moisture. Like the chemical that they use to keep moisture away from things like this. Because, you know, if these brushes get moist, they will mold. Um, Yeah, so... I think they use like a powdery chemical or something to keep them fresh. Just like as if you were to see those little packets that come in your shoes or come in your lace front packages. You guys know about those. So yeah, it, it smells like that. It has that chemical smell. So there are five big brushes for the face. And then there are five little brushes for the eyes. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go off camera and I'm going to take all this plastic off. And I'm going to also take my handy dandy elf brush cleaner and I'm going to clean each of these brushes because I'm not feeling that smell and I'm like, I don't want to put that on my face. So I'm going to clean these brushes with this brush cleaner. I'm going to take the plastic off and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you guys each and every brush. And then we are going to jump into the demo. Be right back. Okay, you guys, so I'm back. I've cleaned my brushes. I got that weird smell out of them. And um, I'm going to go really quickly. I am... The reason why I'm looking down is because I'm looking on my phone um, to tell you the the numbers of each brush and what each brush is specifically for, according to shopmissay.com, which is where I got the brushes. Um, so the first brush is the F21 Plush Face Brush. It's a large, fluffy brush, perfect for dusting off all types of face powders, and this is the F21. It feels amazing, I won't lie. It feels great, like it's it's and it's so pretty. You guys like the brushes are so cute. They're just the all black, you know. It's really cute. So that's F twenty one. That's like the big brush. That's the powder brush. Next is the F twenty two, which is the plush angled brush. This one right here. And it says this is great for contouring and precision blending. So this is that one, you guys. If you can see, it is angled. It's on a slant, sort of. And next, you guys, is the F twenty three which is the one I'm most excited about trying because of the fact that this is the kind of brush that I use for my foundation. This is the flat top foundation brush and it's perfect for a seamless application of liquid cream or powder found brick foundation. <laughs> I don't know where that just came from. Liquid cream or powder foundations. And it is the flat top brush. This is the type of brush that I use normally when I put my foundation on. But this one, I won't lie, is much softer than the one that I usually use. I have a favorite by a different company, but I'm going to try this one. The other one is more dense than this one. This one is a little more, um, it's just, I don't know, it's different. It's just different in texture, basically. Okay, so next, you guys, I have the F24, which is the plush, these words, it's, they're tongue twisters. The Plush Blush Brush. <laughs> Say that three times fast. So this is the Plush br Plush Blush Brush. And yeah, this, this one is 
It's the go-to brush for a flawless application of cream or powder brush. So yeah, that's F24. F25, you guys, is the plush highlighting brush. And it applies and blends out cream or powder highlight for a subtle or blinding shine. It's up to you, I guess. I like this. This is cute. Me, personally, I use a fan brush for my um, highlights, so this is going to be a little different for me. I'm so used to using my fan brush because it just, I don't know. I, I use a large uh, fan brush, too, like the, the really big full one. I'll show you guys later. Um, so, the, okay, next, you guys, we're going into the next five, which are more geared towards the eyes. Like, those, those brushes that I just showed you were, like, face brushes. These next five are more eye brushes. So, these are the E collections. Those other ones were the F collections. These are the E's. So, we have the E135, which is the eye blending brush. And it easily blends out eyeshadows and concealers. And this is what the E135 looks like. Super soft. Excited about that. Next, you guys, we have the E136, which is the tapered blending brush, which is great for diffusing the crease and blending shadows. And that is the E136. Yeah, and they are super soft, you guys. They really are super soft. They really do feel like... Well, what I would think mink would feel like. Okay, and then we have the E137, which is the shader brush. And it's for a firm yet soft blended application of shadows or concealers. And that is the E137. This is like when you, you know, when I pack it on the lid, I think. It's a little flatter than the other ones, if you can see, like sideways. It's a little flatter, good for packing on shadow. And then we have the E138, which is the detail shader. And it says, this is accurate blending for any small or detailed shadow placement. And this one is kind of angled, too, you guys. It's, it's an angled brush. You can see that. So this is like when you want to just kind of get in the crease, I, I feel like. I don't know. I could be wrong, but that's what I would use it for. And then last but not least, you guys, we have the E139 smudge brush which is ideal for smoking out your water or lash line or for a pop of color in your inner corner. And this is the E139, you guys. This is for your highlight or, like they said, smoking out your lash line. So we're going to see how these work. Um, these brushes feel really soft to the touch. And hopefully they perform as good as they look because, look, they are so pretty. Just look at these. They are so cute. They look so professional. Like, these are some brushes. If, like, honestly, these are some brushes. I love using black brushes because um, I just think it's, it looks a little more classic. And also, too, they're easier to clean, especially when you're using, like, a color foundation or whatever. These are, like, the type of brushes that I would take with me on a job when I'm going to do makeup for a client or something. Like, these are really, really nice. Really nice. So, yeah. All right, with no further ado, let's jump into this demo, and hopefully they do not disappoint. Let's see. So, for today's look, you guys, I am going to be using the It's My Ray Ray and BH Cosmetics Compilation Palette, if you guys can see that. Um, I'm going to be working on this palette because of the fact that this palette has, like, eyeshadow, highlighter, contour, like, all built in one, so it makes it a little easier. And... As you can probably already tell off camera, I already did my eyebrows and prepped my eyelids. And I'm going to prime my face right now with the AOA Studios Wonder Skin um, Mattifying Primer and Poreless Primer. So let's do that really quickly. <music>
take the E136 brush and start with my transition shade, which is going to be Friday from the It's My Ray Ray palette. E135 brush and I'm going to put a little bit of this color called Sunset on top of that. This brush, oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> this feels really soft. This brush feels Oh, it feels nice, you guys. Like, really, really nice. Really nice. And so I'm putting that color a little bit into my crease and just kind of blending it in with that first color. And as you can see, like, this brush picks up the pigment really good. <laughs> to you know what I'm going to stick with this brush because I want to blend another color out with it but what I will do is kind of tap it off next you guys I'm going to go in with the color what is that Friday no that's Friday that's the color Friday I'm going to go in with the color Friday right on top of sunset <laughs> E138, which is more of a precision brush, and I'm going to take the color Kani, which is this this like purple color, and I'm going to kind of, oh, look at that. It's picking up, it's picking up the shadows, no problem. I'm going to kind of go into... <laughs> the flat shader brush and I'm going to just put that on my lid <laughs> it really well too. And what's so crazy you guys, I haven't even used any uh like any of my fix plus yet yet. Like and this is how it's placing on the lid, just dry. Just naturally dry. And I think that's pretty good. But what I'm going to do though, now I'm going to spray the same brush 
with some fix plus to pack on the next color on top of this purple cover so I'm going to use my little coconut fix plus I'm going to spray a little bit on my brush and then I'm going to dip into this color called passion this purple right here which is called passion and let's see Whoa. Oh, I am not mad. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. Shall be saying, I see you. I'm not playing. to the pink just to uh, kind of pull it all together. I'm going to go off camera and put on some liquid liner and then we're going to move on to part the foundation brush which is the F23 and I already have my foundation on the back of my hand so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and start placing it on my face and we're going to see how good this brush performs hopefully it performs really good because i love my flat kabuki brushes oh my gosh my hair is in the way also too i'm going to have a um a foundation review coming soon about a foundation that I tried recently and I'm going to tell you guys how I feel about it. So be on the lookout for that. Alright, so here we go. Okay, so right off the bat, I feel like this brush is like super soft. Like super, super soft. Like, and I hate to say it, but not in a good way. And I know this foundation looks crazy. I know it looks super light on camera. I'm going to tell you why in a minute. It'll all make sense to you in a minute. But yeah, um, I'm not really a fan of this brush right now. Oh my gosh. I feel like I don't have any control with this brush. Mm, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. Like seriously. Like, I told you guys, like, I love my Kabuki brushes, but this one, I already knew because it was so soft that it wasn't going to be as dense as the one that I'm used to. So, I don't like how this is, um, I don't know. I'm not really feeling the way it's, I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know how to explain it. I don't like the way it's, it's spreading my foundation. Let's just put it that way. I don't like the way it's moving. I feel like there's no control. I feel like it's flimsy. That's what it is. I feel like the bristles are flimsy in this brush. That's what it is. They are flimsy. And I do not like that. I definitely do not like a flimsy foundation brush. I like one that is dense so that you can, you know, get your foundation in there. And also, too, I like a dense one because it packs it on where it's supposed to go. And it leaves you with a flawless finish. I don't know. I might just have to get used to this, but yeah, I didn't like that right there. Because it just it's too it's a little too soft if that makes sense.
you guys. So now we're going to move on to the highlight. And I'm using AOA Studios Highlight in the color Almond. was use this brush which is the F22 the contour brush and I used the color brownie bite and I just contoured my face lightly so you guys didn't miss too much or anything so now let's get back to the video say purple look um all in all you guys i really do like these brushes the only one that i kind of had a problem with as i said before is the um the flat top foundation brush and it was only because it was just a little too soft for my liking like i like my foundation brush to be a little more dense and these but then again you know these are supposed to be faux mink so they are supposed to mimic like that soft fur feel so they do a pretty good job i love the eye brushes they blend like a dream as you can see very easy it makes it so easy um they feel really good on the skin there's no shedding so far as far as i know um like i said i love 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 let me turn it the right way this sleek packaging you can just throw it in your purse and go it's super small it's like the size of a wallet and um yeah so I'm pretty happy with my purchase, and like I said, you guys, it was only $10 at shopmissay.com, and all 10 of these brushes do whatever you need done for your face, so, yeah, all in all, I think it was a great purchase, I like the way my makeup turned out, I hope you guys like it too, and um, everything that I use will be linked in the box below, and yeah, I'll leave it in the description box, and 
As always, thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. Please feel free to like, comment, share. And of course, if you haven't already, come on. Subscribe. Like, subscribe. <laughs> but yeah, until the next video, you guys, thank you so much for watching. And thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. And I love you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.